the Taswala Bam Bam. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that well. I believe that uh, remix will cause trouble in this Niger. I don't know why everything has to be competition. And I think these artists, most especially those people that sang this uh, Tasada Bam, they are making use of the opportunity of our division to make money. Because I do not understand. I'm still trying to understand the scenario. Firstly, big up to Bonner Boyle. He killed that uh, remix. I'm going to play you the two videos so that you can pick the one you like the most. Is it Bonner Boy remix or Davido remix? Big up to Bonner Boy. They all, they both tried. Eh? One love, Africa love. But I believe these artists that sang that song, Tasala Bam Bam, eh? they knew exactly what they are doing. They were doing. They know exactly what they are doing. They purposely put the head of Boda Boy and David to join them together, eat it together, so that they can get a reaction from Nigerians and make it look like competition. And by that, the music will sell more. The music will sell more. Well, before I go any further, I think we need to listen to both track. Because the new, uh, just a little bit of uh, a snippet is out of uh, Bonaboy remix on that song. I'm going to play that and also play the remix for, from uh, David Do as well. Then, honestly, from, your, from the honest part of your heart, Please, kindly let me know who you think kill the beat. Who you think actually kill the beat? And I know Bona Boy fans will never agree that David Doe killed that beat. And David Doe fans will never agree that Bona Boy killed the beat. You know, I already know exactly how you guys are going to react. But all the same, I'm just going to play it. Hoping that you guys will remove. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of that. Drop it. Uh, drop it one side, and you no know, listen to good music and appreciate good music. And tell me who you feel kill the vast best. <laughs> See, before Bonner Boy, before Bonner Boy, I want us to realize something. Before Bonner Boy, David Doe was smashing collaboration from South Africa. Don't forget, you know, while talking about the future, you have to remember the past. David O was killing and still killing collaboration from South Africa. Don't forget the Amefi Kizolo. They are DJ Ururu, if I'm pronouncing that well. <laughs> Ururu, yeah. Don't forget those records David O did with them. Don't forget caught across all Africa. So let us give respect for David Doe first of all. 
But I'm born a boy, we already know. <laughs> if you do any collaboration with Bona Boy, Bona Boy will end up holding that record. You know? Bona Boy will end up holding like you the record that you featured him on. Eh? Bona Boy will take over that record to the point that eh? if anybody wants to search for your record online. For example, they will put Bona Boy to a Salabam, not the name of the artist. Automatically, it now means like Bona Boy who owns that song. In fact, if they want to call you guys to come and perform, or they want to call anybody to perform that song anywhere, they will call Bona Boy because they automatically think Bona Boy who owns that song. That is Bona Boy's star power. If you feature him on any song, it's going to sell, it's going to kill it, but he owns that song from that day. So, Tasala Bam, they're expecting Bona Boy to own you. So, these guys say uh, they're credible in their own ways. The only person I'm blaming over this recent fight about Bona Boy and David Duke concerning this song are the artists. They knew exactly what they were doing. They eat the head and Bona Boy together. Boom! Because I don't understand how you're going to call David O. You are the biggest star in Africa. We need you to jump on this remix. And David O immediately drop on, jump on the remix. Then boom! You guys drop David O and call Africa Giant. You are the Odogo Africa Giant of Africa. We need you to jump on the remix. Boom! And Bonaboy did it. And now you are making a video of, with Bonaboy, which is good. Which is good. But then, then again, you have caused this rough between the two artists. You have further deepened the hatred between these two artists. Because of say you want sell music, because you you know you understand the Nigeria social media system. They love competition a lot when it comes to Nigeria. Nigeria do not believe this one will do, this one will do, we will all do together. No. They love competition. They love their artists to be above any other artists. That's what they like. And they are capitalizing on it, guys. They are both incredible. Hmm? But they are capitalizing on the division of Nigeria to make money. Which I, I'm not I'm not which is good, but it's not good at the same time. Well, let me know exactly how you feel. And that song, from the bottom, honest part of your heart, tell me who killed it best. Bonner Boy or David? Do we need to listen to the original song from David? Do we need to listen to the original remix from David? Do? Then we can actually judge, you know? Because I do listen to David also a little bit. I think. It might be close or even better. Hello, hello. We don't turn to turn now. Turn 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 turn. You understand? You understand? Well, that being said, let's move forward. This is just a bad side talk. Oh, you remember that Awuchi guy that we are talking about since? I already talked about it on Adam's link. Remember that that which guy we talked about. Well, we were hoping that the police will immediately arrest him. But guess what? The police are not willing yet to arrest him. According to a very respected police officer, Adejubi said, this is an act of indecency and exposing the young child to moral danger. The PRO of a dual command will take it up and cause, uh, counsel the parents rather than prosecute them. Many of us don't know the implication of what we do. We will educate them and many alike. This kind of thing will expose, expose the girl to the rot in our system and moral danger. Not in all cases we prosecute. There is a room for DRO and CRO in our is uh, in our duty and we shall be adopting such 
Well, they said they are not going to arrest them. Instead, they are going to counsel them, re-educate them. There's a room for that in the police. Well, but a lot of Nigerians are call, calling for that guy arrest because, come on, man. Arrest that guy. Uh-uh. Arrest the guy. It's not so hard for you to do. Arrest the guy. Educate for what? Somebody that you should immediately arrest. Educate for what? Arrest the guy. 